Boeing 737-700 series aircraft. Now, in the event you haven't been in an automobile since 1960, flight attendants still have to show you how to fasten a seatbelt. So to fasten a seatbelt, you do this. To unfasten the seatbelt, you do that. And that seatbelt needs to be low and tight across your hips, just like the hot pink Speedo I'm going to be wearing when I finally get the three of us to a hotel hot tub tonight. <laughs> Now, folks, if you don't like the jokes of the service today, there are six ways out of this airplane. You feel free to use them. That is two forward exit doors, two overwing window exits, and two rear exit doors. The signs on the ceiling and the disco lights on the floor shall lead you to these exits. In the seat back pocket in front of you is the safety information card, the safety features of the aircraft, as well as our evacuation processes. Please take a moment to look it over. Now, in the event that our captain decides to turn the Love Airlines, Southwest Airlines, into a cabin cruise today. We're going to instruct you how to remove this life vest from underneath the seat. And folks, please, it is a life vest, not a toilet seat cover. You place it over your head. You bring the black strap around your tiny little waist. You snap it in front and pull to tighten. To inflate the life vest after you exit the aircraft, you pull down on the red tab. And for those of you that have to do absolutely everything the most difficult way, well, you blow into that red tube located at the shoulder. The very best of luck to you with that. But then kick paddle, paddle over to the shore. This cabin crew will be behind you shortly. You'll be able to recognize us. We'll be the ones carrying the liquor kit and the famous fresh peanuts. Now, the ladies are passing through the cabin at this time to make sure your shoes and socks and handbags match. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But what I noticed during the boarding process, an awful lot of you need a little fashion consultation. So folks, underneath that seat, kick it, cram it, and shove it all the way underneath. Now folks, it's a non-smoking flight over to Chicago today for three hours and 30 minutes. But for those of you that have to enjoy a cigarette today, we have two entertainment lunches for you. One's out there on the left wing, the other one right across the hallway on the right wing. And if you think you're talented enough to light it, you can certainly smoke it. The rest of us, well, we're going to enjoy two feature films this evening, Gone with the Wind and Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the message is just very clear and very, very simple. Do not be naughty in that party. Leave the webcam alone or you'll end up on YouTube next week. Folks, it's $2,200 for tempering with the smoke detector in the lavatory. And you know if you had $2,200, you'd be on United Airlines in first class back over there in Chicago today. <laughs> Now, the ladies and I, we certainly wouldn't have shown it up for work tonight if we had anticipated a decompression. But in the event of a decompression for Saffron Yellow Buttercup Mask designed by Gucci and Martha Stewart, where they're going to drop from that compartment overhead. And to start the flow of oxygen, you have to first stop screaming. You let go of the person next to you. You reach up there, pull that mask, fully extending the plastic tubing. Place it over your big nose and mouth and you continue wearing that mask until otherwise notified by one of your three uniformed crew members. As the crew members that you'll see running around our cabin naked today, they just simply cannot be trusted. <laughs> now ladies, for those of you that are traveling with someone that's going to need your special assistance, ladies, you know who I'm talking about, that very dear husband of yours. Ladies, you may want to take my advice. Sit back, think about it for a bit. Diamonds, diamonds. For those of you traveling with your children, why? <laughs> and for those of you that are traveling with two of your children, what in the world were you thinking? But when those masks fall, you'll want to put the mask on the bright one. That one's going to contribute to your retirement most successfully. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do us a favor today. Sit back, relax, enjoy our hospitality, or you can sit up and be tense. That choice is yours. The pleasure to serve you today, it is certainly ours. Now, one final message for you. We love you. You love us. We're much faster than the bus. We hope you enjoy our hospitality. Marry one of us and you would fly free. <laughs> now, folks, you've got three hours and 30 minutes to think about that proposal. But you need to know, one of us is a little higher maintenance than the other two. 